What up guys, Alex here, GuitarForce.com So today we're going to take a look at uh, Hammer to Fall by the Queen and uh, this was requested and supported by longtime supporter Curtis so big thanks goes out to him In this lesson we're going to take a look at uh, rhythm guitar parts only The lesson on the solo is going to be on a separate video and it's going to be available at GuitarForce.com When I'm done with it, the, the link is going to be in the description box down below also, the tabs and the backing track are going to be available as a bundle, also at GuitarForce.com. And um, uh, I'm going to post the uh, link to the cover uh, playthrough of this song uh, on, on my other channel. I hope the uh, YouTube will allow that. Um, if they do, the link is also going to be in the description box down below. Um, the only problem with the backing track is that it's a little bit shorter than the original song. Um, I mean, it's got all the vocals and everything like that. Uh, a really cool backing track uh, without the guitar, but uh, the um, solo section is shortened for some reason. It's just um, the last part of the solo uh, is included. So uh, the backing track is a little bit shorter, but the lesson on the solo is going to be on the full solo. All right. Um, so if you're interested, check out all of the links. Um, the tuning for this song is going to be standard for this lesson and uh, I was using again the VST plugin guitar rig. Um, while you're checking out the picture of the presets um, I was using, here is my low E so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. <laughs> so now let's go for the close-up and start the lesson all right so we're gonna start off the lesson with a rhythm guitar and we have uh, five uh, sections in this song so the first one is the intro slash verses riff which is kind of the main riff of the song then we have the chorus uh, then we have the uh, middle part uh, then we have the uh, solo section and the last one is the outro part so we're going to start off with the intro slash verses. The main riff of the song goes like this. Okay, so here the main tonality of the song is the uh, key of A, A major. And we have the opening riff. So we play the A major or um, A power chord. So we hit it three times like that. So down, up, down. Third time we let, it, let the chord ring out and then we finish it off with, with this chord which is uh, it's a D chord in the shape of C but played without the root note. We play this against the, the A note. So it's the uh, D uh, with the A note in the bass. Um, so it looks like this. So all we do, we just uh, add these two fingers. So on the B string, third fret, and on the D string, fourth fret. And this makes it as a D chord with the A in the bass. So that's the first part, we play it for three times. And then all we do, we simply shift that uh, form, that shape right here. So this is essentially the E major chord. But again, uh, we're playing against the A note, uh, the A kind of tonal center and uh, also just using the triads not playing the whole chord so when we get to here we play the same rhythmical figure so we hit it three times then we have a pull off on the d string from that note to here and then playing the a chord which is uh, in in this position right here so this is like essentially the um the bar chord, but uh, we are playing kind of uh, triad oriented chords and uh, playing against the A note, like I said, the A open string. So that's the main riff. One more time, the whole thing goes like this. Okay. 
and then we repeat the same uh, riff over and over again going into the verses. During the verses it's exactly the same thing, we, we play the same riff. Now, um, there are a few variations that Brian May uh, is uh, using when playing this riff uh, during live performances or even on the uh, on the studio recording um, and the difference is uh, basically in the rhythm so he adds the uh, muted strings there so he might play something like so as you can see I'm adding just uh, one hit of the uh, muted strings before playing the, the, the riff again and in some places he adds two muted uh, strings in there, so he would play like this. Okay, so um, just a few vari variations uh, added um, to the uh, main riff with uh, some muted strings. And um, just quickly... Um, uh, explaining one more thing, before going into the middle part um, he would play the riff and the last chord instead of playing here as you can see he would play it up here in this position and slide out so we're going a little bit fo forward uh, with the whole thing but uh, you know, I just wanted to mention that when um, going before, going into the uh, middle part of the song, that last chord is played here. All right, so that was the uh, the intro slash uh, verses riff. Uh, the next section that we have is the chorus, and it goes like this. <laughs> Okay, so here we start off with the A chord in this position, in the fifth position, playing it two times. Then we go to the E chord with this, playing uh, like a triad. Then we take it down to the D chord, and then playing the A chord in this position. So. Then we stay on the on this A chord here for the whole bar and um, you know again there are a few variations that Brian is playing here so one of the ver variations when staying on the chord you know just hitting it a few times then adding this D chord back to A and then we have so this is um, the uh, A suspended 4 chord so we only just add the third frets on the B string and the whole um, chord, this the whole verse is actually follows the, the vocals so if you listen to the vocals when they change um, you know this gives an additional cue when to change the chords so this is you know hammer to fall when um, Freddie Sini uh, hammer to fall you kind of follow the voice so you play the uh, suspended uh, 4 here you can play the whole chord and then just uh, pick the strings uh, adding a single note so 3rd fret to the 2nd fret and then just picking the chord uh, up and then playing, playing the whole chord again so one more time kind of slower it's gonna be like this So that's the first part of the chorus, then the second part is exactly the same uh, with the exception of the ending, so again we repeat uh, these uh, chords, so we have When we stay on A, we have a sort of different ending, it goes like this 
So we play the A power chord. So kind of playing it two times. Little rest and then we have. So here we go to the fourth fret on the D string and playing the A uh, string also. And then pulling off four to the second fret here on the D string. And then third fret to the open on the A string. And then the rest is the same again, adding the suspended four here back to the A chord. Okay, so the whole second part of the chorus slowly is going to be like this. And that's uh, the uh, chorus. All of the parts, both parts together, slowly going to be like this. Again, another variation that Brian is playing sometimes uh, during the first part of the chorus, when he goes to the A chord, instead of playing adding this D chord here, he just stays on the A chord throughout the, the entire ending. So he would play and then just adds the uh, suspended four and back to the A uh, major chord. Um, so, you know, he varies um, slightly. You can do the same, you can uh, play edit the uh, D chord or you can play just the A as long as you follow the structure and add these kind of um, uh, notes that are being played which are following the uh, vocal, you're going to be okay. Alright, so structure wise, after we've played this, the first chorus, we go back to playing sort of the intro, the main riff of the song. Uh, going into the second verse, going into the second chorus, which are exactly the same as um, uh, the first ones. And then we go, and like I said before, going into the, um, the middle part, you know, using uh, this chord here, the A, sliding out uh, after the, uh, the second chorus, when we have the, uh, sort of again, the main riff of the song being played, and we add some muted strings okay so that's the part before going into the middle into the middle section and the middle part goes like this Stop right here. Let's break it down into parts. Now, um, there are two guitars going on here, but uh, what I did, I have combined uh, two guitars into one, and um, you know it's just easier to to do it like that. Um, so what we have here, the first part is we have the chord progression, which is um, if we break it down in chords, it's the uh, E major chord. <laughs> Then going to F sharp minor. Then we go to G sharp minor. And then we have the A major chord. That's the first part. Now, the overdriven guitar is playing just the bass notes, is playing. So just on the low E string um, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. And the other guitar, the second guitar, which is playing um, the clean guitar, is adding uh, some other notes in there as well. And if you combine both of them, basically it's just playing uh, the um, lower string strings and then adding the uh, high E and the B strings open. So we have... Okay, like that. 
And then when we go to the F sharp minor again, it's just playing the low E predominant, predominantly. You can add the octave if you want to, uh, to make it a little bit thicker sound. But then the high E and the B are again open. Then we do the same, we move up to the G sharp minor. Uh, doing exactly the same thing. Then we go, when we go to the A, now here uh, the uh, high E and the B strings are played um, just like a part of the chord. Like that. So all together is going to be like this. Then we have, um, it's the D to A, two power chords. Then it's followed by G to D. Then again, G to D. There are little pauses in between the chords, so watch out for that. Uh, just listen carefully to the uh, to the original track, and you you'll be able to um, to hear it. Now, if I put both parts together, with the first one goes like this. Then we repeat the chord progression again, so with the E, F sharp, G sharp, A. The second time we play, so it's D to E, uh, power chords, and we stay on the E for two bars. And then uh, the um, we're gonna uh, avoid, we're gonna avoid the uh, clean guitar and just play the uh, the overdriven guitar. So the overdriven guitar is playing. Just a single note and uh, palm muted, eighth notes, chucks going on. So we play on the A string, fifth fret, fourth fret, and then seventh fret. Like that. Okay, and that's the middle part, uh, both of the guitars combined into one. All right, so after the middle part, we go into the next section, which is the solo. And it starts off with uh, some riffs uh, first, and then the solo guitar takes over. Uh, but we're gonna break down the uh, rhythm guitar for the solo. So the first part, the riff um, that it's playing goes like this. All right, so here we start off with the B power or B major chord. So we play the chord, little rest, play it again. Here we have uh, just a quick pull off on the fourth fret to the second to the open on the A string. Going to the E chord. Again, we do the same as we did with the B. So hit the chord, little rest, or you can play muted strings like that. So all together, these two parts slowly. Then the next part. So here we play quarterly, we have the B power chord going to E to F sharp, G, and then we have F sharp again to E to A. Now the last two chords you can play just uh, like a single notes. Um, so when you play. So after the G chord, you can play just the F sharp, uh, low E string, second fret, open uh, to the low E string, and then playing the whole A major or A power chord. Or you can play as the power chords. It's totally up to you. So that's the riff for the first part. One more time, slowly, all of the, um, the whole riff is going to be like this. All right, 
at the second part of the solo um, goes into this part which goes <laughs> So here we just go to the C uh, power chord and we play these eighth notes, palm music. But uh, what we do is we also hit um, uh, at certain times the uh, C suspended too. So it's this chord. Okay, so the, the B string is on the third fret here. And uh, the best way to do this when to hit this chord is to listen to the drums because it follows the drums. So if you hear, if you listen to the drums at certain points, it kind of accent, accent, accents some of the uh, drumming and you can hear that and the guitar is following that. So that's why you get this. <laughs> So just listen carefully to the drums and if you follow along with them uh, playing on this chord you're going to be fine. And then second part of the uh, last solo is just playing over the uh, chorus section. So we have again we have Okay, so we play over this part, over the chorus, and in the end of the solo, <coughs> when we play this part, the suspended four, we repeat it one more time, and then two times, so it's basically playing two times that suspended fourth, um, you know, playing that trick. Then last chord is going to be the uh, uh, D, and and we let it ring out. So it's going to be like this. And after that, we go into the next uh, part, which is the um, the verse. Now, in this third verse, uh, there is uh, another variation that they play. And again, a couple of ways you can play it. Um, basically, it goes like this. So just playing these triads without, without this part, just playing lightly the, uh, the, the triads. Now, uh, what else you can do is you can add the um, the low E string, I'm sorry, the A string, the open A string muted uh, when playing uh, these triads. So in other words, it would be like this. All right, so it's constantly going on kind of checks, palm muted the A string and then adding the triads in between like that. Um, yeah, so that is uh, this part. After that, we go into the last chorus. Uh, the chorus is exactly the same uh, as we did uh, previously. And then after that, we go into the outro. And the outro is very similar to the, um, the main riff of the song, but it's played without the stops. So in other words, we let the chords ring out. And also another thing, in the very beginning, the, ver the very first time when we play um, the riff, instead of playing this chord here, he just plays the A, so he plays And then second time after that he plays Okay, so that's the riff, that's how you play it. And we play it for a few times and I think it's played for four times. And for another, yet another variation, uh, Brian May 
was playing this uh, during some of the live performances. Instead of playing it here, you can take it up to an octave. He really liked this, um, uh, taking this up an octave and playing it here. So it's exactly the same, but you are playing up here. And you can play it against the A string open, you know, just as it is. You don't have to play it on the 12th right here. So you would play something like... Okay, so I'm just playing these triads. Exactly the same as here. And you can do it for a couple of times and then we go back to playing. So that's the ending. We play the main riff of the song for three times and then the last time instead of going to the E here, just plays again following the lyrics, hammer to fall. And we play it with the suspended four here. And you let the chord ring out, then it goes into drums, the ending of the drums, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. In the end, just hitting the chord A, and that's how we end the song for the rhythm guitar. Alright guys, that was it for this lesson, I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell button next to the subscribe so you can stay notified when my new video is coming out. Um, thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.